Welcome back to the halftime show here at Warrior Stadium. Penn Trafford and Norman will take a look at the first half scoring summary and also the stats for you coming up on the halftime show in just a couple of moments. But first, we are being joined by senior offensive tackle Brandon LaFoon. And uh, Brandon, the first thing I have to ask you, go back to last week, your victory over Indiana. Offensively, you guys really were able to do anything that you wanted to do. You played very well. What did you see uh, from an offensive lineman standpoint? What were you guys able to do up front to really get you that victory and just do so well on offense? Um, we were able to work together, really. Uh, we got our double teams and then worked uh, downfield to get to that second level, which really helps open up the holes for Manny. And how important is it, Brandon, to have all of these seniors up on the offensive line? Obviously, you guys have played together for quite a while. You return uh, starters from last year and, of course, the seniors up front. That continuity, how important has that been this season? Yeah, we, I've been playing with these uh, same four offensive linemen since I was a freshman, and uh, they're like my brothers. Like, if I ask someone, I'll say, like, I need help on this one play, they'll be there for me. They'll pick me up, and uh, it's, it really helps out. Who's the most vocal guy out there? Zach Rossi. Because uh, he's a center, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, when, you, uh, when you look at the running game right now, is it where you want it to be as far as just how everything's clicking right now up front with not only Manny Simpson but Joe Fiasco back there as well? I mean, we consistently have been able to move the ball, but, I mean, we can always improve. I mean, there's always a couple plays during the game where uh, we let people slip through and don't have our head up, and uh, we got to eliminate some of those. Now, I asked Manny this, but do you guys take pride in the fact that you are able to, you know, not just hope for a big play, uh, you know, from Manny, like an 80-yard run or something like that, but you guys can actually move down the field in your running game and get four- and five-yard chunks and get those long drives going and really wear down the defense? Do you guys kind of take pride in that? Yeah, I mean... It's nice when you can uh, pound it and you know that you can pick up four yards every carry and uh, really uh, winds down the clock and helps our defense out. Your opponent tonight, the uh, Norwin Knights, um, how cool is it, how fun is it to play against Norwin year after year? Obviously, uh, football, it's a lot of fun, really any sport at PT when you're going against your, your rival, but um, how fun is it tonight? Yeah, it's real fun. Um, their, uh, their quarterback, Tom Quayley, uh, I used to live across the street from him, so uh, I want to get some uh, revenge on him. Sending a couple text messages this week? Uh, yeah. Not giving away anything, though, right? Nah, nothing at all. <laughs> um, one, uh, a couple of final things for you here, uh, Brandon. Um, I have to ask you, I asked Charlie the same thing, but um, how cool is it to play at home? You have the final three games, or two games of the regular season, and your first round playoff game at home. How great is it to play in front of the fans? Our fans are great. Uh, we got the best student section uh, in the Whippeo. Our fans go crazy and uh, really pumps you up, and you want to go out and just play well. A couple of other things I've been asking a lot of guys is uh, really what got you into football? And off the air, maybe you had to kind of answer that for Charlie, <laughs> um, but, or at least give him uh, some advice on uh, what got him into football. But uh, what, what's one of the things that got you into football? Well, um, I didn't play for like a couple of years, and people always said, like, you're a big kid. Why don't you play football? So a couple of my friends like Charlie and Mike Cumberledge, uh, they took me down to pick Karen and uh, got me into playing football, and I loved it ever since. And one final thing, uh, what do you plan on doing after graduation, not only, of course, athletically, but uh, academics as well? Well, um, I plan to uh, go pre-med and try to become a doctor, and uh, hopefully I can play some uh, college football somewhere, but I don't know. That's awesome, man. Thanks a lot for your time. All right, thank you. That's Brandon LaFoon. We'll be back on the Halftime Show in just a moment right here on the Westmoreland Sports Network.